All right, so here is the elevator at the La Quinta in, I think this is Centennial, Colorado. Although we might be closer to Lone Tree. All right, we're on the other side of county line, still Centennial. So, looks like a U.S. elevator installation. I think this one only goes down, yep. And look at what we got here. We got this older style uh, U.S. soft touch fixtures. Yeah, this one goes down. This one's like a pool level elevator or something like that. Unusual for a hotel this size, that they'd have two separate elevators. Very nice, though. Definitely. Very smooth. So here we are on the ground level. This looks like where the pool is. Yeah, this is the pool here. Hot tub. Tub, there's a... Oh, uh, they got other stuff on this floor, too? Yeah, there's the gym. Oh, they got meeting rooms here. And fitness center. Nice. Is the other elevator on that side? No. Okay, we'll have to take this one back up. And there, there's two elevators in here. This fixture, it's like projected or something, it's kind of weird. Hard to push though, which I don't like about it. Shouldn't be that hard to push. So this is soft touch. They still got one of the touch sensitive. Look at that, it probably, yeah, you have to touch it a little bit, but that's touch sensitive. Wow, so cool. I never, never seen touch sensitive US soft touch. Let's see if I can, there we go. Now we can angle it so I can see. We'll look at the fixtures in the cab now. There's Dad right there. Pretty plain cab. Looks like this on all sides. Mirrored car. Right here, I'm going to look at the fixtures quick. Hold the door. Indicator. There's the fixtures right there. Call cancel. Uh, some key switches. This touch sensitive one button. Now that is amazing. Got to get off here. It's going to nudge. They're having a meeting here too. All right, so we're gonna go over to the other elevator over here. We're gonna see this one. Here's the lobby of the hotel. Very nice place. This elevator down here is probably the one that serves the hotel floors. If we can find it, that is. Sorry about my shaking. I'm not good at walking with the camera yet. Or I should say I'm okay, but could use some improvement right here. All right. Looks like hall stations have definitely been replaced. These, oh, these are touch sensitive too. Wow. Unusual, see it's touch sensitive buttons. Down work, doesn't seem to. Epco chime, I think that's what that is. And panels on the other side. So, got traditional door close buttons with push buttons, but I think this is touch sensitive buttons. Absolutely amazing. Here we are in G, so we'll, not sure. Anyways, now, oh, someone's getting on. Excuse me? Oh, are you getting on? Oh yeah, I was, but it's cool, I have trash. Okay, we'll head up to four then. We'll have to get off to let him take this up. But that That's very cool, touch sensitive buttons. It's like a traditional U.S. elevator indicator mixed with like Dover or something. Very odd to see it that way. The U.S. soft touch fixtures, and, and by soft touch, it's not. You're not joking with that. You just touch it, and it works. So if we look over here, here's your window here. That there, that new building there, is a Motel Six, and it's not even open yet. Behind it's a Best Western Plus. They got ice machine there. They got a mirror too. Hello chin everyone. Chin. Now you cut your chin. <laughs> We're gonna have to wait for that elevator. Um, the guy's taking it. We don't wanna disturb his ride. So this is touch sensitive as well. Oh no wait, this one's push button. This is, um, I'm not sure. I think that might be the SSL fixture from Epco. But the one on the lobby is a touch-sensitive button. 
That's neat seeing touch sensitive buttons in a place like this. You know, that makes me wonder, are all old US elevator buttons touch sensitive or is it only some of them? You'll have to answer that question for me guys because I don't know honestly. There's your typical door lock mechanism on this. Unusual ones, I haven't seen those. Hopefully we didn't. Alright, here's the elevator car. US lantern right there. So we could go down to G, but I don't think the button works. So we're just gonna touch one. Let's come on, light up. There we go. Looks like you have to touch it a little harder though. Why did it just go out? Okay, I think these buttons are shorted. Not really sure though. We'll yeah, it's a shorted circuit. Same style cab. There's no phone in here. There's the pool one. I think there's a phone. We'll check. It's right there. See, there's the phone. It's a Epco add-on. There's your fixtures right there. Touch sensitive US. And the key switches. You already saw the indicator well enough. We looked at that quite a bit. Now we'll just wait for the door to close. And that's it.